Many have asked about the difference between a surgeon entering politics and the traditional lawyers who did. I think the answer is that we're not just identifying or explaining problems. We're here to solve them. With the Taiwanese presidential election just 17 days away, the well-resourced KMT and DPP are engaging in intense mobilization efforts marked by numerous rallies and closely matched support. Contrastingly, TPP presidential candidate Ke Wen-je is resorting to unconventional strategies amidst stagnant poll numbers since the party split from the KMT-TPP alliance on November 23rd. Despite its recent inception and limited resources, the four-year-old TPP is ambitiously challenging the established KMT and DPP. Honestly, I don't know what a typical election means. What I do know is that our election costs less. A typical election, by definition, is to spend tens of billions to have a chance at winning. Innovation is the duty of the weaker side, who is more likely to win if the election strategies stay the same. The answer is the one with more resources. How can I compete with the two major parties if I use traditional campaign strategies, like holding rallies and buying TV ads? Unique to the TPP's campaign are youth-centric rallies and resource-conscious street speeches. Since December 7th, Ke's daily 8-hour broadcasts on his YouTube channel, KPTB, aim to amplify the party's online presence. Among other highlights, Huang Guochang, the party's legislator-at-large nominee, managed to raise 14 million NT dollars overnight with an innovative social media fundraising campaign. Our policies are comprehensive, compared to the other two candidates, Lai Qingde and Hou Youyi, whose policies are fragmented and specific. Another unconventional approach is that in the past, very few political figures dared to visit campuses and engage in discussions with students. After Ko started doing this, the other two major parties followed suit. Thirdly, we won't follow the conventional approach of spending lavishly. Chen stressed that Ko has always believed that overly high election expenses are the beginning of political corruption. Hence, we advocate for an economical way of campaigning. Yet, experts warn that robust online engagement doesn't guarantee vote conversion, posing a potential setback for Ko. Although Ko possesses a strong online presence, I think he lacks actual campaign events on the ground which means the TPP's core structure still can't compete with the KMT and DPP. In an impending presidential debate, Ke will face Ho and Lai, setting a stage for vital developments in polls, momentum, and campaign strategies that Taiwanese voters should closely monitor. Wang Haoyu, Zhong Derong, Liu Yujun, Isabel Wan, TVPS, World Taiwan.